ABC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, the winter chill has been here. It's going to stay here through the weekend and gradually get milder as we get into next week, but it's going to be a slow process, but it looks like at least meteorologically and climatologically speaking, the way we like to speak, we may be turning the corner on winter. So let's take a look at the headlines as we head into this weekend. Temperatures tomorrow morning and Sunday morning going to be in the upper 20s. So freezing starts, but not pipe busting, but certainly cold. You want to make sure the plants are covered and the pets have a warm place to stay. Plenty of sunshine. I'm just up this to 53 degrees for tomorrow, 58 on Sunday. So we'll be in the 50s with wall to wall sunshine and a pretty good looking week ahead with mostly sunny skies and temperatures slowly moderating and right now I don't see a significant rain chance probably at least through next Saturday and maybe beyond that as well. So here's the big picture across the lower 48. This is the snow on the ground across much of the US and you can see of course there's nothing going on here in the deep south but nonetheless where's our air coming from Canada through snow covered fields of Oklahoma and Missouri and Arkansas and that is what's feeding in here so that's why there's a, a bite in that temperature out there with those northerly winds. Big picture again some snow in the northwest and the northern Rockies. Rockies finally winding down with the heavy snows across portions of Maine. Still some lake effect snow showers, but things winding down with this storm system in the northeast. Meanwhile, for us, it's been relatively quiet during the course of the evening after some showers earlier this afternoon. That's all east of us. And now we're watching this cloud deck erode, and it should erode of the I-10 corridor, we'll say, right around between 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning. I would think you'll see stars by 2 a.m., and you'll be feeling the colder temperatures because the cloud Clouds are acting as an insulating blanket, keeping us in the mid 30s right now. But when those clouds clear out, we'll go below the freezing mark and we'll be in the upper 20s to lower 30s tomorrow morning. But lots of sunshine forecast as high pressure is going to be the dominant feature throughout the entire weekend. Another cold one going into sat a Saturday night, Sunday morning, and then Sunday, another nice day with lots of sunshine. And by the way, Sunday morning with light winds, we'll see a better chance of frost. We won't see frost tomorrow morning because there's too much wind helping to evaporate the moisture off the ground and objects, but to, tomorrow night into Sunday morning, if you're up early Sunday, you should see a nice frosty scene across Acadiana. Now, as we go into Monday, we're going to see a system out in the Gulf of Mexico that's going to be producing rain and maybe even some storms way out in the Gulf. It's going to cast clouds across us as we go into Sunday night and Monday morning, so we'll be above the freezing mark by then, but uh, we're not done with maybe the chance of frost as we go into next week. Tonight, though, cold temperatures in the mid to upper 20s. Latest readings, 27 Oakdale, Ville Platte, and Opelousas will favor upper 20s right along the I-10 corridor. 29, a popular number, 28 not in Lake Charles and the same in Abbeville, Kaplan, upper 20s across the board for the most part. Then warming up tomorrow with the sunshine, we'll get into the lower 50s. Uh, 52 in Ville Platte, Opelousas, about 53 in Lafayette. We'll get a little heat island, uh, urban heat island effect here and uh, lower 50s across the coastal parishes as well. Tomorrow night, just as cold and as mentioned, it's going to be a frosty one come Sunday morning. Temperatures in the mid to upper 20s, a degree or two cooler probably tomorrow night than what we're going to see for tomorrow morning. Wind chills in lower 20s, so bundle on up if you're heading on out early tomorrow or like me, I think I'll wait until about noon before I step outside and then it warms up. Uh, temperature wise tonight, we'll go 29 the low in Lafayette as the clouds thin out after about 2 a.m. for most of us sooner as you go farther north in Acadiana than tomorrow. Nice day, chilly though after that freezing start, 53 the projected high. And as we move into the 10 day forecast, boy, I don't think I've seen a sunnier 10 day forecast forecast in quite a while with lots of sun as we go into next week and a slow moderating trend and not much in the way of any kind of weather makers impacting us. It looks like I might be able to get a little maybe a journal reading in during the course of the weekend and going into next week as well.